Well, my family and I moved to the area about six years ago, and shortly after that, we uh, started attending Westwood Church. And not too long after that, I decided to join a, a small group of men who met here at the Chanhassen and Perkins. We meet at about six o'clock in the morning on Fridays and uh, met with them for about six months, a little bit more. And at the time, the, the leader was in a period of transition and asked me if I'd consider stepping into the leadership role. Uh, the group has been a great, rewarding experience for me. It's made up of about eight or ten guys, uh, you know, mostly in their 40s and 50s. Uh, we delve into the Word. We really uh, have a rich time together. To a man, we've all had various employment challenges over the last couple of years, as you might imagine. Uh, and, of course, like any group of guys, we have you know, marriage concerns and certainly parenting issues that we have to deal with, and that's been a real rich time. So I was both pleased and yet concerned when Jamie uh, said he wanted to join our group. I mean, I, was, I thought it was great that he would know, bring a fresh look into the group. But I was concerned that we were, well, old. In fact, we were old salts and he was anything but that. The group meets at 6 o'clock and so I showed up at 5.45 and waited in the parking lot and I uh, saw a couple of guys go in, so I went in after them, and, um, and it was great. And so I went home afterwards and was telling my wife about it, and I said, you know, it was great, uh, but everyone's like my dad's age. Uh, but there was something in there that God was really orchestrating. Well, as Jamie uh, began to meet with us on a regular basis, there was a few things I re realized about this guy right away that uh, really impressed me. One, you know, he was consistent. Just, he just was a rock in that area. Uh, number two, his upbeat personality was just a, a lift to the whole group. Uh, he just brought a fresh breath of air to us. But third, and probably most important, he really had a, a heart for God. That really impressed me. But you know, I have to tell you, I still kept wondering, why in the world would you want to meet with us on a regular basis? Well, there was definitely something about the group dynamic that kept me coming back different perspectives and real-life applications of Scripture that was new and fresh. And what I really learned from the group was um, how a group of guys should encourage each other, pray for each other, and be there to support each other through good times um, and bad times. And that's what really stuck out to me. And I realized that I might not have this life figured out, and that's where God was really using this group to minister to me and my family. Well, I believe one of my roles as a Bible study leader to, is to actually put myself out of a job. I want to go to Bible study some Friday morning and actually find that nobody is actually there, that they're all out leading their own studies, uh, really going out and making disciples on their own. That's, that's my goal. So after, I don't know, six months or so that Jamie was with us, uh, I approached him one day saying, you know, I'm not kicking you out of the group but I really wish you would consider, pray about, starting your own group, doing just what you've done in, in your college years. I felt a little overwhelmed and pressed at that time, and I really didn't want to give up that Friday morning group with Chaz. And so he encouraged me and my wife to go home and pray about it, and we did. And I really felt God was calling me to lead a group of guys, of young guys, and so I did. My group is thriving. We are studying Romans along with the Sunday sermons, and they've been fantastic. You know, our group, we've been focusing on um, intentionally integrating our faith into our workplaces, into our lives as husbands and fathers and um, as workers. I'm so encouraged by this group. It fills me up, and I trust it does for the other guys as well. Two of the guys have already left this fall to start studies of their own, and there's a third leaving sometime, probably the first of the year, to begin a study of his own as well. So if you're ever in the Chanhassen Perkins at 6 a.m. in the morning on a Friday morning and see me all alone, know that this is a good thing. I've actually succeeded in doing what I want to do as a small group leader.